Hello, and welcome to a Wednesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. Today we're going to the Wednesday, December 6th, 2023 Crosswords. Go for that 1,377 day streak. So here's your spoiler alert for the Wednesday Mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Mini's always free to play. All right, let's do it. Uh, wow, ABC. Uh, this is a motor. Skate, nose, Catan, Juan Soto, Tre, and Roast. All right. Fun fact, starfish see out of their arms. Not a fact I knew. You might get lost in one at night. That's a hard clue on book. I do like Catan. It's been a while since I played. Juan Soto is a padre now, I think, right? Juan Soto, which I just spelled wrong. Yeah, currently plays for the Padres. Um, you can't see very well, but... And I'm kind of a Padres fan. Anyway, now for the main event. That's the Wednesday Daily Grid, which is by Peter A. Collins and Bruce Height today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here. Click on the link in the description below. Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. Both Peter A. Collins and Bruce Height are like long-time veteran constructors. Um, so, I've seen their names many, many, many times. And it's not fitting properly into my uh, scene here, so it must be tall, I guess. How many squares do we have here? 2, 4, 6, 7, 10, 14, 16. So yesterday we had an extra narrow puzzle, 15 by 14. By the looks of it today, we have an extra tall puzzle, 16 by 15. So we're getting back our 15 squares that were owed. <laughs> anyway, let's see what uh, Peter A. Collins and Bruce Height have in store for us. Let's get into it. Holy service is some meh mass. Happy days are here again. Haughty intellectual, hang on to. This is Irma Bombeck. Hatch plans and hustle. This might be scheme. Have a gander is C. Haute couture name. I guess it's probably Yves Saint Laurent. Hummer's interior are M's, just the letters in the middle. Having a rough texture is coarse. Huge issue for some teens. I guess it's probably acne. A scam is a hustle. Helter sculpture scrambles. Mad dashes. Hoodless plovers often worn with other layers. Hallelujah singers. Choir? Hog part? Historically. Could be once. Um, ha. I see, maybe? Hard drinks similar to bourbons are rise. Hones is a blade, maybe wets. I bet. This is a ran by Crunex. This is an MC, a host. Harsh rule is a heavy hand. Honored is... What is it? Revered. Smarty pants? Have you any wool? How loose strings might end up in a knot. Home to more than 20 million Pakistanis. I think this is Karachi. Holler when the game is deadlocked. It's a tie. Hobby shop purchased with large wood or plastic base. Help, homemaker from Mayberry. Okay, it's Auntie May, heat center of the 2000s. Not sure, hammer sound. Hurdy Elson is elk, having been sloshed out. Spilt, I guess. Hybrid genre of country and 33 across. So this is rap, hick something, ham hock, okay. Honda Civic competitor from Kia is the Spectra high priced perfume ingredient. Maybe it's rose oil. Uh, high school students test result on scale 1 to 5, AP score. At least I guess this is a hick hop, huh? Hell yes. He hung animals an ass. Hercule Poirot is a tech. Philippa Sue. Hair here is Sir. Haraz Ole. That's so cool. Harvey Star James, not sure. Hard to believe. Hardy's before, it's probably air. How deep is your love singer? Barry, Maurice, or Robin? Huffy responds to a threat. Hooray. Hypocrite's perch, perhaps. A high horse. Helpful skill for guessers, ESP. Hotel room option. Standard? Hall of Fame could be Bart. Hollywood's Amanda. Is it Amanda Pete? Household detergent brand. It's probably Tide. This is a BG. Here's an idea. Uh, or what? 
Hooray. Yeah. Hang on to just keep huge gems of rock. This is a sweet hacks. Cuts? That's so true. This is James Stewart. I think this is Smarty Pants. Hopping Mad Sort. High Tech Gaming Tournament, briefly. A seal award there. I don't know this. It's probably not anti then. Um, hard to believe it's a tail. Maybe it's tall. Helmet wears potential embarrassment is hat hair. Hot head. Help a veil, maybe. A model ship. Bam. Uh, hip dressers. Maybe it's fops or something. Having gotten an extra peers in OT. Health probably problem. It's polio. This is Shaquille O'Neal. Fishy. Bart Starr. Some, somebody Taylor. Oof. This is a BAM, right? B Taylor? Didn't know EVO. Okay, so I said anti something off of this T. That's quite bad. But Mayberry is what? The Andy Griffith show? Let's see. I guess I should mention the theme. The theme here is just double H's with this grid art of double, of two H's. Being the only black scores in the interior that don't touch the edge. Then we've got heavy hand, ham hock, hat hair, high horse. So just those, oh, hick hop and hot head. We've got these arranged double H's. So I guess the, uh, you know, just the double H's is sort of not very interesting, especially not with the revealer. But the grid art in the middle, the double H's with the symmetry. Yeah. It feels like a kind of a... I don't know, maybe it's not so classic. It feels like kind of a classic... Um, Crossword theme, but I guess the grid art is something something different. Something different. Uh, right. Let's look through this thing. Didn't find it super easy. Especially down here. Whatever Evo is. Crossing B Taylor. Bart Star. I did know Shaquille O'Neal. Found this bottom corner pretty hard. Felt well, it's very, very slightly. Maybe skewing old, I think, but like I said, Peter Collins and Bruce Height are veteran constructors. This is like the, I think this is supposed to be like the Oratorio Handel's Messiah, hallelujah. Yeah, you know, you can run by somebody, literally, but I, I feel like if you, if you need to go ran by, you know, you run an idea by somebody. Hummer's interior, yeah, just the M's in the middle there. This four letter partial as no. Hick hop I've never heard of. I mean, I can kind of guess what it is. Yeah, country rap. Play on hip hop, of course. We've got Elks next to an ass over there. Yeah, Evo. I guess that's skewing young, but I didn't. I didn't know it. The Evolution Championship Series. Not really into esports. But I know many people are, so okay. How many people know both B Taylor and Evo? Tech is both very crosswordy and also kind of old school. Right over Philippa Sue. So yeah, that's a pretty new school also. Amanda, Pete, a lot of names down here. The long stuff is pretty nice, I will say. The 
is that so true? Rose oil AP score. Rose oil. Yeah, who's B Taylor? Is this Andy Griffith's show? No? It's in Mayberry. Yeah. Oh, she was called Aunt B. Aunt B Taylor. Beatrice Taylor. Yeah, so Andy Griffith shows a long time ago. I've never really watched any episodes. I know Opie because of crosswords, of course. Uh, yeah, I feel like it's okay. If grid art is your thing, it's pretty good grid art. And the grid art, you know, gives you this excuse for this six double H phrase theme. The themes are not the longest stuff here, but of course, if you're trying to accommodate grid art, it might be very difficult. I guess the, uh... yeah, this one is sort of, these two are sort of making the legs of the H super tall. This is, these two are kind of extending the, <laughs> the bridge of the H. I don't know. <laughs> What's the, is there a technical term for the for the legs on the bridge? Let me know. <laughs> but these two are sort of orphaned, not really attached to the H. To the H's. Anyway, probably slightly slow for a Wednesday is my guess. Yeah, on average, right around four minutes today was just a touch slow, but had some difficulty in some areas. So apparently, uh, on average. Whoever submitted so far has uh, got 29% slower. In fact, 100% of users so far have solved slower than their Wednesday average. Admittedly, it could just be two people. It could just be me and somebody else. So anyway, let's do some more puzzles, starting with the Telegraph Plus Word. Here's your spoiler alert for the Telegraph Plus Word. If you'd like to play them along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Plus Word's free to play. British mini crossword meets wordle. Frightened, that could be scare. Kills could be slays. Long legged bird is a, cr is a no, a heron. Last Greek letter is omega. Shaped like a funnel. Co conic? Talent or habit? Uh, yogic. A knack. Okay. So we have decoy. This was shock rather than scare. Lucky that the first letter was the same though. Lemon can be existed. Yogic. Awkward ick there. We've got snack and knack and shock. A lot of CKs here. However, not too much British stuff. You might be able to find more British stuff in the Telegraph code words. Fortunately, not free to play, but hopefully enjoyable to watch. Certainly fun to play. Let's start with the code where it's tough. Let's try to make this screen more visible to you. And this has got to be an E. And so this could be like ozone, especially since it's doubled here. That looks okay. Question of what word ends in blank, or what word goes blank, 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 Z-O, but it's got to be an I, I think. Joined? No. This is the R. It's gonna be unicorn. Let's find our Q. Oh, Euro there. Word that ends in U is interesting. Uh, controls. Uh, is it an A? Yeah. Chateau. Okay. This is parquet, and I believe expand. This is shrewd. Aroma. Hammock. Uh, movie, debater, turf, prodigy, and there we go. Quite a quick code words tough. Again, code words tough seems to just give you uncommon letters, but for example, this Z placement basically gives you the E's for free. Kippers are pretty British, I feel like. Never eaten them. I know that you can often get them tinned, right? Tin of kippers. Let's move on to code words regular. 
see if it's any easier. Seems kind of unlikely. I was thinking, is this model, but I don't... Or moat, it's not modem. This seems like it's most likely to be an A, I would say. So metal seems kind of likely. Area here. This... I think this is adieu. Is it not? This could be our Q. This is coral. I think this is vellum. It's like a lambskin or whatever, right? This is ceramic. Here's our O, I think. A lodge, maybe. This is boutique. Dockage. Admixture. Interesting. A red flag. A snuff box, I think. Enzyme. Jollity. Bullfinch. I suppose that's a bird and a napkin. And fold away. There we go. One minute code words regular. So just a touch faster. Also a pretty easy code words regular today. Admixture is a nice word. I wish they would not number the letters that are given to you. There's no reason to number them. Maybe. But it's hard to know. It's hard to remember what you started with. What were we given at the beginning? Where was the breakthrough? It was kind of adieu. Oh, it was sort of this, actually it was this A. So it must have been this D was given to us and the M. So okay, that, that is giving you some quite a lot. Meza. We sold two Zs also, right? Ah, we're getting uh, the restaurant near me in DC. Small dishes served in Albanian, Bosnian, Armenian, Kurdish, Levantine, Turkish, Greek, Iraqi, Egyptian, Balkan, Caucasian, and Persian cuisine. To name a few. <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> Middle Eastern tapas. Is that, a, is that a bad way to describe it? Anyway, last thing we do here before we go is the connections puzzle from the New York Times. Try to make four groups of four here. Felicity, it's a television character as well as Frasier. They're also just... Uh, names of shows so like cheers is also one as is glee i mean as is like euphoria i think huge giant great and big any chance i think that's got to be it just meaning enormous fiction poetry humor travel these genres, maybe. Where's construction going to go? Construction paper? Like, I think it's likely that there's TV shows here also. Maybe construction... Is the genre? It seems like Glee, Euphoria... Oh, I know. Where does paper go? Whooping cough? Construction. This could be wrong. Well, let's try it. Just in case it's right. It is right. Bookstore sections. All right. It's is construction. Is it that construction is the name of a TV show? Is paper the name of a TV show? It seems unlikely. Promise that there's too many. We have to figure out the connection between these, which I don't think are TV shows. Cranes? Paper crane? Whooping crane? That's a kind of crane, right? Construction crane? Like, oh, I see. Okay. Fraser crane. There we go. All right, cranes. It's got to be purple, right? All right, we got it in the end. Lucky for me, I. 
Whooping Crane sounded, uh, and these are all TV shows with happy sounding names, I see. So there's, that's a deeper connection. Okay, for me, I knew what a Whooping Crane was. Otherwise, not sure I could have got there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you tomorrow for the best day of the week for some Thursday puzzles. See you then.